What's up guys, Black Horse here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Second Manager 2020 for stage number 20 of the Giro d'Italia playthrough with Duke and Quick Step and oh my god what a stage it is. Alba Sestrier, 201 kilometers today with the Col de l'Agnello or Col d'Agnello in French, le Col de l'Isoar, le Col de Montgenèvre and finally the climb towards Sestrier. A lot of mountain points to be given today. I won't send Fausto Masnada to, in the break. Uh, Perduvo is, I mean, mathematically not first, but it would take a lot of circumstances to, in my favour to uh, to have Fausto in the blue jersey tonight. What I want to see, though, is James Knox to stay on the podium, and that is going to require all of my attention around my British leader. He is third in the GC, 3 minutes 30 behind Vincenzo Nibali, 1 minute behind Miguel Angel Lopez, and one minute ahead of Steven Kruijvijk. Everything is yet to play for. So without further ado, let's jump in for this stage and try to maintain our podium with James Knox. It's now or never. It's now or never. <sighs> James Knox against destiny. James Knox against his fate. Against every odds, James Knox is currently on the podium of the Giro d'Italia. And he has been on since... The Etna stage, I believe, which uh, was stage 3 or 4, it was stage 3, where he was the second best rider. Since then, things have changed, uh, and he's not by f the, the second best, he is the third best. <sighs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Because I don't know what to do here. We'll have the Col Daniel, 25k, 6% gradient, a uh, max of 12 uh, which basically is a bitch uh, because I've climbed it. Uh, and then we'll have the Col de l'Isoire, who sometimes is one of the summits um, of the Tour de France, the highest points, with uh, its infamous Casse Desert, which we're going to see right now on that little dip just before its summit and then the downhill towards another climb, the Col, le Col de Montgenèvre, uh, just. 7 kilometers, 6.7 average gradient, 9.6 max with a, a flat finish, uh, which definitely uh, impacts the average gradient of the climb. Um, I haven't talked about the um, Col de l'Isoire stats, but it is an average gradient of 7, a max of 13, and the average c contains that, that downhill portion in the Casse Desert. So we are looking at a 7.7, 7.8 average gradient, and finally, the climb towards Sestrier, 11 kilometers, 6% average gradient, a max of 12. On paper, it looks somewhat flat because of the other climbs, but trust me, after, after the three climbs before, this is going to feel like a bitch in the legs. And it's a plus two for James. It could not have come at a better time. Joao Almeida has a zero. Fausto Masnada has a plus two. As I said, I'm not going to fight for, for the breakaway here. Sure, on paper, I can get the points. But I don't care. There, there's no, well, I mean, what was that? 96. Uh, there's 110 points to be taken today. Meaning that... Uh, sorry about that. On paper, we could see... Uh, Tao Gegenhardt, but he's in, in the peloton. Thomas Rent, but he's in the peloton. Or Dario Cataldo winning the mountain jersey. I mean, yeah, sure, first Thomas Nara, but I'm not going to send him in a break. If Cataldo wants to win that jersey, he needs to be first on every single climb and win the stage. Well, we're halfway uh, through the Col Daniel and we still have 13 kilometers to go. Uh, interestingly enough, it is the Yombo riders who are taking the lead of the peloton and not Astana or Trek. Uh, well, I mean, no, mainly not Astana as we've seen in the previous days, um, which could lead me to think that maybe, just maybe, Miguel Angel Lopez is not in a great day. Uh, so that is definitely something I need to keep an eye on as we're going to attempt, uh, oh, we're going to start the second part of the Col Daniel, the toughest part of the Col mainly, um, with basically 8 to 9% gradients uh, until the summit. Yeah, it's, uh, as I said, it's a bitch climb. And uh, you definitely feel it in the legs. Sure, you do the, the, you do have the downhill to recover after all, but it's not enough. And I've been taken by surprise there. Uh, as a massive acceleration struck the peloton, an acceleration led by Jonathan Narvaez, uh, which is surprising, to say the least. Masnada and Almeida got blocked. Uh, 
I mean, no, uh, we, we just lost a few positions. Almeida might have been blocked as well, losing a, a few meters here and there. Odd, definitely odd to see Jonathan Narvaez uh, attacking in such a way, knowing as well that they don't have anything to play for in the GC, uh, nor do they have someone in the break. Uh, that's pretty wise. Also, Vlasov is in the break. That's odd, knowing that they've usually used him to pace for Milan and Lopez. Whoa, 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 happened to Nibali? How? Wait, what? What? Wait. Why is Nibali here? What? Vincenzo's dropped. Vincenzo Nibali is dropped. Oh my god. Oh my god. Vincenzo Nibali has been dropped in the call, Daniel. Mental stuff. What? Who's in the lead? Vlasov. Vlasov on his own. Oh, if Vlasov is preparing an attack for Miguel Andre Lopez, knowing that Vincenzo is now dropped, the tactics are on point if I, uh, for Astana here. Wowzers. I mean, Vincenzo is going to come back. Uh, he's only a minute behind in a downhill portion. The Peloton has stopped pacing. Um, but Menta! Um. So Nibali and Lopez are dropped. What happened? The rhythm wasn't even that... I mean, the rhythm sure was a bit mad. Maybe that's why... Uh, Ineo started to pace? But it doesn't make sense. How? Ah, okay, sure. Well, I mean, we're going to start the Col de l'Isoire. Uh, maybe we'll get a, a better overview at uh, the, 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 the health situation of some of these guys. Oh, but that's definitely weird. And that leads me to think that I might need to pace now. No, Vincenzo's gone again. Vincenzo's going to... He's, he's going to drop again. He's going to drop again. I can see him. There he is. There he is. Vincenzo is losing the Giro on the final mountain stage. What the fuck is happening? I'm very confused there. Oh my god, Vincenzo just crashed as well. Vincenzo just crashed. Things are going from... It's, it's, it's terrible. What we're witnessing today is absolutely unfathomable. Wait, hold no 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 yo 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 hold up. Um Let's take on on me well. I mean no let's take on anybody, let's be honest. What? Six minutes fifty Are you good? I mean no clearly Vincenzo isn't what in the world is going on? What in the world is happening? Kroivike and James Knox are currently 1-2 in the Giro now. What the fuck? Yates, Mike and Garen Thomas have attacked. Uh, I shall not follow. I'm going to let Kroivike take the take point on that. Uh, because I feel like I'm going to lose energy. Should I uh, try to, to follow them a bit more? Uh, at least I'm just going to take the wheel. What the fuck is going on now? Genuinely, what's happening? Alright, I'm not in an ideal situation. Uh, Micah has attacked. What's the gap between me and Micah? It's four minutes. Okay, fine. I, 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 I won't lose four minutes today. If I do lose four minutes, then something has gone horribly wrong. Uh, but, oh, no, 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 no. Steven, 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 Steven. Steven, calm down. Okay. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stay within the minutes of Steven Kroivak at this rate. Fab, Micah is on his way to get a GC podium. Garen Thomas as well. Oh, Garen is making a late, late comeback, you know. What is happening in this stage? What? Oh my god. And Rafa Micah is on his way to win in Sestrière. So many things aren't making sense. And I've been dropped. I've been dropped by Kroivak. It's fine. It's, I mean, no, it's not fine. But I need to do some, uh, some, some good damage limitation.
Come on, maintain the wheel, maintain the wheel, please, James. James, James, come on, Noxy. Yes, Noxy, come on. Noxy's back with Koivike. I expect to get fully hammered as soon as they'll start the sprint. But it's fine. I'm, I'm expecting it. Just don't lose a fucking minute. Don't lose a minute. That's all I'm asking. Come on. Come on, James. You're going to get dropped with uh, with Vlasov here. That's no ideal. Oh, my God. Nibali is 12 minutes behind. Where's Lopez? Lopez is... Ah, oh, no. He's that far off. Wait, 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 wait. If Lopez is there, where's... N <laughs> ah, Lopez has been overtaken by Vincenzo Nibbles. And Nibbles crashed. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Rafa Maika wins in Sistrier. Ahead of either Garen Thomas or Peyo Bilbao. I'm gonna lose a lot of time on Steven Kroivak. Potentially the GC. I don't know. 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 Where am I? I'm gonna finish in 8th position just ahead of Vlasov. What? In the world just happened. What just happened? I... What? What? Oh, I'm getting some strong YouTube cycling vibes here. With Rafa Maika in the, in the Vuelta. Where Bernal, I think. Was it Bernal? I don't know. No, it was actually... It was Lopez. It was Lopez who had fully dropped off the map. What an inc- What? I'm lost for words here. I do not know how to explain what just happened. And I've seen weird stuff on PCM. They lost 12, like, oh my god. I mean, sure, nibbly crashing didn't help, but what the fuck? Oh my, I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> James Knox is in pink. <laughs> James Knox is in the pink jersey with one stage to go. <laughs> oh no! What? It wasn't meant to happen. What? What? I what? Uh, nah. <laughs> nah. Pudzubu is, is, is going to win the, the blue jersey. I tried with Masnada to get points, uh, but I, I died before the end. It's a shame. I would have been able to get plus 32 at one point. Or plus 30. Uh, uh, sure, well, I mean, we'll win the, the Ciclamino. I was basically set on that. Uh, James Knox still is in the white. Astana, despite losing, Muran Lopez is still in, um, in, in the... Well, still is the best team. I'm, I'm going to need a lot of time to process this. So... Vincenzo Nibali dropped on the Col Daniel with Miguel Angel Lopez. They came back at the bottom of the Isoar. They got dropped midway through. Then I struggled a bit with James Knox, but I made it. In the downhill, Vincenzo crashed. And then I fully lost track of what happened, because Vincenzo pro probably finishes here, I'm guessing, with all the tracks of other guys. Maybe a bit higher? Uh, maybe a bit below? Antonio Nibali? Where the fuck is he? Vincenzo Nibali has lost 18 minutes today. I, I'm... Uh, uh, what? What? And Lopez lost even more. Lopez, like... Lopez finished with... Lopez lost 27 minutes! I can't shout a lot, because it's literally 5am. But what in the fucking world happened? I'm gonna... I have to take a look at the editor now. I need to take a look at the editor, see, see their fitness. Or maybe they're injured or something. Can you get injured even... Can you even get injured in the tour? Like in the single tour? I don't think you can. I honestly, I'm baffled, but that means that with one time trial of 16 kilometers left to go between Cernusco Sub Navilio and Milano, James Knox 
is leading the Giro d'Italia with 14 seconds on Kroivik. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oi, we're about to bring maybe a GC to James Norks and De Canonk. Do you understand how mental that is? It's mad. It's mad. Uh, you know what? You better destroy that fucking like button because that stage was out of the world. That stage was out of the world. I cannot guarantee we'll have anything else ever like this on this channel. The, the, I've never seen something this mental on PCM in years. Genuinely in years. And that was mad. Uh, that was mad. Uh, the, pff, yeah, <laughs> I'm just still lost for words. I'm in shock. I'm in genuinely in shock. I'm, I'm, I'm a head straight to bed after this. I've been recording for four hours. I'm a head to bed. Because I need to, I, I need to have a clear mind right now. James Knox is the new leader of the Giro d'Italia. One more stage. Come on, tomorrow to the time trial. You lot better be there to watch it. It's gonna be mental, mental. Fourteen seconds, sixteen kilometer time trial. We could afford to spare about nine tenths of a second per kilometer. Can Noxy win the Giro d'Italia? I don't know. I don't know. I fucking hope so. See you all tomorrow on the channel to make sure to do so. Then please, please, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Show James the strength he needs by destroying that fucking like button. Follow me on my social medias. The links are in the description down below. And I see you tomorrow. 5 p.m. Uh, CET. That's 4 p.m. BST for the final 16 and a half kilometers of this Giro d'Italia. And definitely not the stakes I thought I'd play. I've been back all. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the Giro. And see you tomorrow. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. All them other man need feeding. I don't want to go from B. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from B. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.